Hi, my name is Chris and I'm a student physical therapist from New York Institute of Technology. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an MMT procedure of shoulder abduction. Miriam over here is going to be my patient. Alright Miriam, so I'm going to ask you to do it in the gravity minimized position. You would ask the patient to lay on their back. First thing you do is you take active range of motion. So Miriam, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to bring your arm over your shoulder just like that. Okay, then for you take passive range of motion. You stabilize just above the elbow joint, all right, and you bring them back, just like this. Apply some overpressure. Now for a grade of trace or a grade of one, you palpate the middle deltoids and the, or the super and the supraspinatus muscle, and you would have just palpable contraction but no range of motion. For a grade of trace plus or a grade of one plus, you would have palpable contraction and just about less than half the range of motion. For a grade of two, the patient would have full range of motion. For a grade of two plus, or a grade of four plus, you would apply fingertip resistance above the elbow joint, and you would ask the patient to go into the same range of motion. Go ahead. All right, was that comfortable for you? All right, and that completes the gravity minimized position. All right, now we're gonna go into against gravity position. All right, so Miriam, I'm gonna ask you to sit down in the seated position. First thing you wanna do again is you wanna ask the patient to go through active range of motion, okay? Then you wanna go through passive range of motion, apply some overpressure. Then for a grade of three, the person would be able to go through full range of motion with no resistance, okay? For a grade of three plus, you would apply fingertip resistance and the patient would be able to go through full range of motion. For a grade of four, you would put moderate resistance and the patient would be able to go through full range of motion against gravity. For a grade of four, you would also have to test the contralateral side and you'd have to put, put, put uh, over pressure on this side and this would tell you the difference in the strengths of each side. So for example, if a patient were to have a problem with this shoulder, then you'd have a four or something less than that and you'd be able to test it with the other side. So this should be the good side. Okay, Mary, I'm gonna ask you to go. So I'd be able to tell the difference between this one because I applied maximal resistance and she was able to go through the full range of motion against gravity and when I went into, the, when I was testing for the four, I noticed that she was weaker on this side. So that's how you'd be able to tell the difference between a 4 and a 5.